Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Fresh Wave Podcast. This is Season 4, Episode 6. This is For Youth, By Youth. And Johnny. And today, we're going to be talking about the topic of surrender. We have a new guest on today, Oliver. And we hope you have an amazing week and enjoy this episode. Um, So today we're going to be talking about surrendering and what that really means and also how to apply it to your life. So a verse that I wanted to do was um, Matthew 16, 24. It says, whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves, take up their cross and follow me. Uh, So what I took away from this is as we live our lives, um, we're like tempted with like desires and stuff from the world and Jesus calls us to take up our cross, not literally like pick up a cross, but um, to spiritually like carry those burdens and those sins and just deny them and just, yeah, follow him. Yeah, incredible verse. Like when I think of surrender, this is this is what I think about as well. Uh, thinking about like our, our theme for youth group this year is this idea of surrender. And this is the verse I use too. Uh, just that, that daily aspect of denying yourself is so challenging because we like to, obviously flesh wants to, uh, satisfy itself, so we just have that in, that bent towards uh, our sinful nature. So it's it's hard. It's a hard thing to do on a daily basis, but one that Jesus calls us to. Yeah, I think a lot of the roadblocks that we might face um, when we're surrendering ultimately come from um, who we're surrendering to. So if we lack that knowledge and that love for God, um, it's a lot easier to. Um, like just say I want control of my life um I want to have this in my control because we don't we almost don't trust the ability of God to hand it over to him um if I was kind of thinking about what surrender means in regards to like war and battle and usually when you're surrendering you're surrendering to an opponent um and you're kind of giving it over and saying you can do it but I can't um but in this situation, we're not surrendering to an opponent. We're surrendering to someone on our side who can just do it better than us, um, who promises that he always comes out victorious. There's no promises for us if we're in control. Um, so what would surrender look like in our life? Obviously, there's it in the means of like battle, but what about in our life? What would that look like? Um, yeah, so in our lives, especially in high school, uh, for me, what I've noticed, like I have my friends at school, and I always feel like, sort of tempted to do do stuff they want to do like talk the way they do and to surrender i feel like just once you give it all to god you have to have like a fire for the lord and um once you find that you'll want to like be in his word more you and you'll just like stray away from like uh the worldly things yeah i think that's totally true and this your daily daily temptations just your daily surroundings greatly impact i think your your view of surrender uh, i never thought about our lack of surrender due to our like trust in him and his plan being better than ours so like we got a baller over here right <laughs> and you're coming down the court with the ball you're not going to pass it if there's a few seconds left to the guy you, that doesn't play well and that misses you're either going to like pass it to somebody you trust or you'll shoot it yourself so i think in terms of like surrender to the lord like we got to have that trust and just know like I'm letting go. I'm letting go of the ball. I'm I'm letting go. I'm letting you have it because I know for a fact you're going to come through. Mm -hmm. Right. That's a good reminder. The more time we spend getting to know him, the more time we realize that there's no one else we would want to hold our future. Um, It's surrendering becomes a blessing. Like it's such a blessing that we can give this up because we just have such weak abilities that to let it go is such a good thing that we're the one who sees everything, the one who knows everything, is the one holding our future. And he has such great passion and care for us. Like, that is truly a blessing to give something up like that. Mm-hmm. And I feel like um, it could be a struggle, too, because we could be doing something and we think, like, oh, it feels good. Oh, it must be right. But once you spend time in his presence and once you're, like, with the Lord, you'll it'll be revealed to you that this is what he wants for you and that it's better than what you think is right for you yourself and yeah yeah i think it is just comes to that just our natural worldly view of surrender is loss and you lose and you you know you're you're done right but for us it's really just a starting to life it's the start to truly living and yeah exactly like you said the more you spend time with him the more you you, his will is revealed to you it's like this is so much better than what i could ever have come up with Mm -hmm. so you just got to trust that in in the times where you may not see it 
right? I think about like Jesus dying on the cross. They wait, they'd wait three days before he came back. Like those few days are probably like, what did we just trust this guy with all the last three years? But you know, he came through as he always does. So when, how, how would you encourage someone that's struggling to surrender their life over to the Lord? Um, one thing is to like guard your heart. So what I mean by that is while like watch the stuff you listen to and the stuff like you watch like videos and music and stuff, I feel like that um, really like pulls at you and t strays you away from the Lord and like distracts your mind from what's right and what's wrong. And also um, like surround yourself in a community with people who also love the Lord and have the same goals and desires to like make it to heaven and just trust in God with all your heart. Yeah, those feelings and those temptations is definitely what can draw us away from him. Um, it's definitely tough, like struggling with um, things you keep feeding yourself with, like what you said, like music and what you watch um, is also very important to think about. Um, it's important to know that even when we do feel like we're dragging ourselves kind of into that like pit or Satan is dragging us there, um, that we know that God hasn't forsaken us. It's definitely a lot more focused on the truth of what we know. Um, feelings are definitely come and go. They're very like come and go like waves and you don't really know what you're going to feel the next day. Um, but the Lord's truth is the foundation of what we know and not what we feel. Um, so I think that that could be what limits us to give up control to God. Yeah. So surrender is definitely something that we need to daily remind ourselves because as I mentioned at the start, it's just like our natural wake up is what can I do to fill, fill me with? And in reality, we should be asking, all right, what can I, what can I be denying to myself today? What, how can I be surrendering more of this day to the Lord? I think it's just, just that, uh, that picture of just opening and living your life with your hands open as opposed to, to close. So I think it's definitely something we need to remind ourselves, pray about, and just honor and give it all to the Lord. So I wanted to leave us off on a reflection verse, um, reminding us of the goodness in freedom in Christ. Um, and the verse is Philippians 3, 7 through 8. And it says, But whatever gain I had, I counted as a loss for the sake of Christ. Indeed, I count everything as a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. Um, so another verse that I found is uh, Matthew eleven twenty eight. It says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Um, I thought this was good because a lot of people think, Oh, I'm not good enough to go to Jesus. And they think, like, you have to be, you have to clean up the stuff that Jesus doesn't like to go to him. But no, Jesus calls us to come to him with all our sins and just lay it all at his feet and to praise him. And he will give you rest for that.